But baby, once I snatched that thing off, that thing was like butter, girl. Ah! If I speak to you, you better speak back. I don't care if you don't want to be at work. That's not my fault. And I don't care if you mad that I just ordered some water. <laughs> he wanted to do all extra and pay for everybody and pop bottles and all this other stuff, girl. I was like, look, I got to go. bring it in <laughs> good morning y'all so happy friday i'm off today i told you i was gonna vlog again hopefully i can vlog the whole day but it's eight o'clock in the morning y'all it is so crazy let me tell y'all this real quick hold on because if this camera fall we gonna have a problem i think we should be good for now i have a dermatologist appointment this morning in like an hour and a half so I'm up, I'm trying to decide if I want to go to the gym before or after the dermatologist appointment. I think I might just go to the gym after just to pace myself so I don't feel like I'm rushing. So the reason I'm going to the dermatologist is for my skin. Some people may say, oh, your skin ain't that bad to go to the dermatologist. Ah, 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 ah. I really don't care what nobody thinks. To be honest, I'm used to my skin flourishing. If y'all have been watching me over the past few months, my skin has just been doing weird and it's like I keep trying different stuff. That's one of the things um, that I'm gonna go get checked for my skin. The top of my hair is a lot thinner than the rest of my hair. And my stylist back in Virginia told me that it was because I kept getting braids a lot. But it's like it's starting to get worse over the years. My shoulder, y'all, I was taking the trash out, right? as I always do. And we have like, you know, where they pick your trash up. And I like sling the trash bag into the little bin like I always do. Girl, what I tell you, as soon as I slung that trash can, that trash bag, my own went whoop. I'm not exaggerating y'all, cause I know I could be a little extra. Girl, when I tell you, I felt a pain that was so crazy, so instant. It's like I knocked something off, I don't know. And y'all, my shoulder has been since then yeah so we're gonna go get some um pain medicine after we go from the dermatologist i'm tired of talking and i'm hot bitch so i'm gonna chat with y'all when it's time to leave out because <laughs> lord knows your girl can talk honey <laughs> mm. what i don't understand is these jackets that's made like this like y'all know them jackets that all the girls be raving about what's the brand is it lululemon i think it's lululemon i think it's lululemon or no or is it aloe one of them brands y'all that the girls be raving about on tiktok with the jacket right whatever that material this material is it's like it hold odor like after you sweat in it it hold it so easily and it's just like this jacket just smell and i know i don't <laughs> I know I don't smell, but I wear this when I go to the gym. But I always wear jackets in the gym, and it's like, this material just like, I don't know, bitch. It's like, damn, I be smelling like that after the gym? <laughs> I got my waist training, y'all, from Amazon. If y'all want to check it out, check out my Amazon stores and my link in my bio. Not link in my bio, link in the description box, girl. I think I might get an extra small. This is a small. Let me show y'all real quick. Cause uh, your girl is getting, <laughs> baby, your girl is getting snatched. So this is a small, but look how stretchy this is. And it's breathable, y'all. It got like holes in there. So I think that I can do an extra small and just be on the first hole. You know what I'm saying? Like starting from the beginning. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to fix it down there. Y'all know the fupa part. I'm sorry. I was trying to fix that. My bad. But yeah, I'm going to just throw this jacket on. And, um, yeah, we're going to leave out in a minute. While I'm putting the jacket on, before it's time to leave out, I don't know. Woo! Y'all almost forgot to take my... Daily probiotic, L-glutamine, glutamine, every morning now. Mm. Almost forgot. I'm still watching Queen's Court, but I'm going to leave out in a few.
All right, y'all, we out the door. I actually packed my skincare routine in this bag so he can kind of like, I keep saying he, I don't know if it's he or she, but they can kind of look at the ingredients to see if it's anything that I'm using on my skin that's making it do what it's doing, you know? So anyway, got my bag. I got my iPad in here because I think I want to get some breakfast after I'm done. I might go to the gym a little later or if I do, I'm just not going to go as hard today. All right, y'all. So I'm here at the dermatologist, but I'm not going to vlog. Obviously, I'm not taking this camera in here. But if I do get a chance to get some footage, y'all, it probably just be you hearing it more than seeing it. Because I want y'all to hear what he has to say about my skin or whatever. So anyway, y'all, Lego. I, I chat with y'all when we done. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's been like this for a few years, so it's not like it's three years, five years. Mm. Like when it first started happening, probably yeah, five. Very first. Uh -huh. yeah. And then what did you, just a little bit of thinning? Mm -hmm. Any any major hair loss, like clumps of hair? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, no. And um, uh, hairdresser says the hair was damaged after using a relaxer or just she was just saying, uh, no, it was more so when I um, started wearing more braids and weaves and came back to her and she noticed it. Yes. So. All right, let's take a look. So um, are you going to wear your hair natural like this or how, what's your natural style? You yeah, this is my regular hairstyle, yeah. okay. but I have a relaxer right now. All right. So two things. People say, oh, Dr. Fox, you're killing me. All right. The relaxers, they damage our hair chemicals so strong and it damages from the root okay so the hair grows out different like different texture and if it's really bad it can scar the scalp where your hair can't get through and it mm -hmm. won't grow mm -hmm. and you'll have smooth that's when you notice thinning mm -hmm. okay so since you're young you can be proactive now and start doing some things where one mm, less relaxers more natural or just different way you style it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, because the relaxers will, over time, you will start losing that hair and the scalp will start to scar and mm -hmm. you will get thin and I can't get the hair back. Now that you're young, we can get the hair back, okay? Second thing is the braids, all they do is thin you across your crown, okay? So if you start notice your edges start going back and back, Miss Brandy, that's a perfect example. You know, Brandy, <laughs> the, the hair, you just see, it just keeps going through the because of the braids. It's traction, it's called traction alopecia. Whenever you pull, it just it just really tugs on that hair and your, and your hair falls out. And if it scars, if the skin gets smooth there and you lose that follicle, you don't see the hole, the dot, it's scarred, your hair won't grow back, okay? So less braids or no braids, or if you do it, they have to make it so like super, only way I can say it's just not tight. So, of course, we have um, something called CCCA. It is a condition that happens in, in African American women. It happens, uh, you don't understand why, but it happens on the top of the head and it spreads out. Okay? Why? We don't know. At first, they said, well, it's the way that you style your hair, the way you relax your hair, the way you do it. Did. But it was happening in women who had natural hair. Mm -hmm. So, we don't know. Um, but it does happen on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, let me take a peek. Bring your head down for me. Let me see. Yes, so um, here you have uh, a little smooth. So let me show you what a normal scalp, you have just a little touch right in there already. So we're gonna have to do some things, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you an idea. And you're young, so now is the time. Okay, so this is a normal scalp. Mm -hmm. Right, all these little hair follicles. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. In areas where it's smooth, you lose the hair follicle. You don't see a hole, a dot. It's just smooth. So that's what it looks like on the top of your head, right on the top, where you can tell, you, you can feel like it's a little less hair. Mm -hmm. So it's smooth. So you've lost already some follicles there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my goal is to try to get you some more and to stimulate hair out of the ones that are already there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we continue to do relaxers and, and braiding in that area, 
it really it puts us back because you can start losing some more follicle because it it tugs on that follicle all right it causes scarring mm -hmm. okay why like i said we don't really understand why we don't know we think maybe it has something to do with hormones or our genetics mm -hmm. don't know okay. okay but we're gonna get some hair back okay but you gotta be really you just if you can put it out just get rid of it totally that would be great Right? I know. People say, fire. Oh, they're killing me. We are back on the cam. So, y'all, as y'all heard, <laughs> my dermatologist told me basically get rid of relaxes, which we all know relaxes are not good for your hair. We're not going to sit here and act like that's not. <laughs> Duh. Everybody knows the natural way of wearing your hair is the best way. We know that. <laughs> Right, we know putting chemicals in your head, whether you're doing relaxer, color, blah, 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 blah. We know all that. I know all that. So anyway, the question is if I'm going to listen. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but that's really the question right now because, girl, I love my relaxers, baby. Like my natural hair, I've had my hair natural before right first of all it to me for my texture and i can only speak for myself honey it's it's hard to manage it's hard to manage and it's definitely hard to manage when you have your hair short okay this is the way i like to wear my hair this is my go-to style this is how i want to wear my hair if i want to wear braids sometimes i will but like the wigs and stuff like that stage of me is over like i, I really enjoy my pixie cut right so with my pixie cut it's so much easier to manage when i have a relaxer obviously because baby my hair is very coarse in this natural state everybody here is different and that is fine but my question to myself is am i gonna say i don't care about what my dermatologist said and continue to do what i'm doing and then my hair gets worse and then now i have a bald spot in the middle of my head or <laughs> Should I consider what she said? So this is what I'm going to do. Okay? Because it's my life. It's my hair. Um, I think I'm going to stop getting the relaxers at the part of my hair that's starting to thin. Nothing else is thinning but the center of my head. That's it. Right? So she prescribed me medication, as y'all heard, that's going to help, supposedly, God's willing, open up some of the hair follicles. So it can start growing through the hair follicles. Blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking when I go to my stylist, which I'm not going to start using the medicine until after my birthday because I have an appointment scheduled to get a, uh, a relaxer around like the edges part, but not like the top of my head. So I'm thinking uh, when I go to my my stylist, because she the one that told me, hey, maybe you should go see a dermatologist. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to come back and I'm gonna show you my medicine, girl. This is what she prescribed to me. Don't put no more relaxers on the top of my head, period. Just do it on the sides, and we're going to try to push it out as long as possible. So if sometimes my hair is coarse, I'm just going to have to figure out a way to manage it, kind of like push the time out. So anyway, she said to either reduce or eliminate, but she prefers to eliminate. But baby, I'm just going to reduce. I'm going to reduce, and I'm going to compromise, because one thing I'm not going to do is not get relaxers at all. So sorry, not sorry. Anyway, on to the next subject. My skin. Hmm. She told me that the survey I'm using, there's nothing wrong with the brand, but she told me don't use the foaming one. So I got to get one that says hydrating. And then she prescribed me something to get rid of these dark spots, which I'm so happy about, y'all, because it's not that I'm insecure about my dark spots, obviously, because I ain't got no makeup on right now, so I don't give a fuck that bad, you know. But it still bothers me. So we're not going to act like it just don't bother me, especially when I'm used to having super, super clear skin. So that's just that, y'all. I'm hungry now. I'm tired of talking, girl. We at Black Walnut Cafe, so it's time to eat. <laughs> and that's what we about to do. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all, so I think I'm going to end up doing either the Big Plate 2.0 with the mini pancakes or the Chef's Breakfast. Only thing about the um, 
meals they don't do turkey sausage or turkey anything they have pork which maybe we ain't doing no pork honey maybe they could substitute that for something so i think i'm gonna go with the big plate 2.0 the three mini buttermilk yeah, pancakes eggs grits or potatoes yep that's what we doing baby i'm gonna see if they can substitute my sausage for some fruit or something i don't know we're gonna see child girl it started raining i forgot today i got a oil change at 1 30 so it is 12 no it's 11 40. the oil change place i'm actually close to i didn't know but i'm close to, to toyota so that's when like i think it was like let me see i got i got what is that two hours basically two hours so girl i'm gonna try to go to zara real quick because hmm, y'all know i tried to go to zara the other day and girl Make sure my doors is locked. Double check. Baby, we ain't losing the heat. We ain't locking them keys in this car no more. But um, anyway, like I was saying, let me see how far uh, Toyota is from here. Eight minutes. So I'm eight minutes from Toyota. Let me see how far it is from Zara, though. Nine minutes from Zara. Ooh, girl, we go to Zara first. But let me tell y'all real, 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 real quick about the food. So first of all, I could not finish everything I had. Um, but I got the big plate 2.0 girl all that food came up I did not know it was gonna come up with all that So the good thing is that if y'all go to a black walnut cafe that's in your area or you come to Houston or whatever like that And you don't eat pork or beef just substitute it out for fruit girl So they gave me double fruit so I got a fruit to go a fruit cup to go boom So the plate come with three mini pancakes eggs grits or potatoes and two meats girl that is a lot for 18 dollars. i was like why i ain't get this or why i didn't tell my boo to get this because he you know when we went to black walnut cafe last time I, he got like the texas breakfast and uh i think he would have liked that one better and he liked their pancakes they pancakes are fire so girl that was a lot of food i couldn't do all that but i did pick over as much as i wanted and I took my fruit to go. And when I was leaving out, I'm laughing because I saw this lady talking to this guy. And she was like, yeah, my husband, da, 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 da. Girl, I don't mean no harm, but when I get married, I don't want to talk to no men. <laughs> don't come up here and don't ask me nothing. Don't, don't talk to me. I'm not about to be talking to you about nothing. Nothing. We ain't got nothing to talk about. What, what do we need to talk about? Ain't even no reason for me to be talking to you and then mentioning my husband. Oh, my husband. And it was like walking together inside. Like, girl, I don't know, y'all. Maybe I'm just extra as hell. But when I get married, baby, don't talk to my husband and I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Camera is staying here. I'm running Zara real quick. I will vlog on my phone. Peace. So I didn't like the fit of a lot of those bottoms at Zara. I don't know. It's like maybe I just ain't have enough time to go try another size. I got a size medium. Uh, but it was like it was shorts and then it was a skirt. The dress was okay, but it wasn't all that. Um, but the, the shorts and the skirt was like almost fitting like too tight. Like almost they fit, but it was like that style was not meant to fit like that so i definitely could have went up a size probably size large to give me the look that i was going for but 
y'all already know I gotta leave anyway. It's already 12:45. Even though the um spot that I need to get my oil change from is only 10 minutes, that line was long. So anyway, I see y'all when we get to uh, do my oil change. How you doing, man? Yeah. Laughing because one thing yeah. they're gonna try to do is tack on some extra shit that you need to get done to your car. <laughs> all I came here for was an oil change and that's all I'm leaving with. All that other shit, I do another time, not today. Talk about $150 listing all these damn charges. Oh, you need this, you need that, you need this. How you know I need all that stuff and you ain't even look at my car yet? You telling me what I need before you even look at my car. Anyway, I'm gonna watch my show, relax. They said about an hour and a half, so we shall see. Now, who got the training links? Two hours later. I am so irritated. I need to go in the house and take a nap. So, basically, first of all, I'm irritated, one, because my car, I'm sitting there, you know, watching the show, whatever like that, and I'm like, okay, it's been a few hours. It was like three-something at this point. And I'm like, they told me they was gonna text me or call me when my car was ready. Told me an hour and a half tops, right? So I actually gave them more than an hour and a half because I was watching the show. So I'm like, let me not, you know, try to rush it. There's a lot of people in here. So I'm like, no, something just ain't right. <laughs> I go and say, you know, uh, I'm sorry, can you can you check the status of my car? They tell me, oh, for Boston? I'm like, yeah. Why she's saying that she got the keys in her hand though. So at this point, I know my car is ready. When I tell y'all, I got <laughs> I got mad so fast. I didn't snap on her. But I was like, well, when was somebody gonna tell me that my car was ready? She gonna say, well, we called you and you know left a voicemail. I look on my phone, there's no missed calls, ma'am. Neither is there a voicemail. At this point, just cash me out. So then I'm irritated by that. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever got my car I'm, like, I'm thirsty i'm gonna get me some water from starbucks you know i don't know if it's because i'm already irritated from my car so when i get to the starbucks first of all if i'm coming i don't care if i ain't paid for the water or not if i come to somewhere and order something or paying for something and you don't speak first or i speak to you and you just say how may i help you i'm gonna force you to speak back i'm sorry so when I when I and I'm being a B-I-T-C-H right now and I know I am because that's why I say I need to go take a nap. So I pull up and I'm like, hi, how are you? You know, all happy and they like, how may I help you? I say, How you doing today? Hi, I'm good. Yeah, you're gonna speak to me. I'm sorry. Like that may be bitchy or whatever people may think, but don't be rude. If I spoke Oh, I was about to say something. If I speak to you, <laughs> if I speak to you, you better speak back. I don't care if you don't want to be at work. That's not my fault. And I don't care if you mad that I just ordered some water. <laughs> so I got my water, y'all. I'm about to take a nap. I don't know, y'all. I just need some time to relax. Maybe I've been moving around too much. So I see y'all in a couple hours or oh, shit. I might see y'all tomorrow because we're going to extend this vlog to tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, but I don't want to end my day all early. It's only like 3, 3.30 and it's Friday. I'm off on a Friday. So let me just take a nap, girl. Maybe <laughs> really back in after I get up from my nap. Maybe go for a happy hour or something. But I don't know. For now, y'all, I'm irritated. So I see y'all in the food. Peace. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I don't have no water. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, y'all. Today's a new day. Can you tell? First of all, I feel like I look like a chicken, y'all. The head skull ain't do the trick today. I thought it was gonna do it again, girl. Nah, not today. Anyway, I got a breakout trying to come in. I'm on my lady friend so it's a little breakout trying to come mm -mm, baby go away i might put one of them little stars on there but i was told that you could put some ice on there before it fully come out and it'll kind of make it go back in <laughs> i don't know i get that from tiktok y'all don't give me a lie
morning i got on the scale y'all and i don't know if y'all know my goal is to be 170 by my birthday 170 is my comfortable weight like i've seen myself at 170 working out at 170 because baby 170 not working out was looking way different than 170 working out however girl the scale started to creep to creep up girl creep 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 now even though i work out i know that it was a period where i was eating real bad back to back back to back but girl that scale got up to what 178 i think i'm just focused on a number like 178 i didn't look 178 i didn't feel 178 but i can do that i can reduce some body fat you know so i'm like all right let me drop let me try to drop eight pounds of body fat. And baby, I got on the scale today, your girl 172. <laughs> so I only got two pounds to lose by April 6th. You don't think I can do that? You don't think I can do that? Girl, yes I can, so. <laughs> Wait straight on y'all, let's go do some spring. I just came in for cardio, y'all. Look at my hair. <laughs> Fucked. Anyway, I'm about to go home, take a shower, get my life, and then make some breakfast. So I'll catch up with y'all in a few. Peace. Let's get it started. I'm about to cook some breakfast, y'all. <coughs> y'all, I have a taste for a strawberry banana smoothie. Jesus, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna make a strawberry banana smoothie, some ground turkey eggs, Ooh. and probably a little bit of cauliflower rice. So yeah, that's the breakfast for this morning. Y'all, I got my little shorts, my SpongeBob and Patrick shorts from, um, who sent me some money? Okay. <laughs> I got my Patrick and um, Spongebob shorts from TJ Maxx, y'all. So, anyway, uh, I'll show y'all my breakfast when I'm done. It's gonna look basic, but it's gonna be delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Yum. Y'all, I have finished Queen's Court already. Mm, how I miss my whole mouth, I don't know. I finished Queen's Court already. And I'm gonna give you my input. I ain't gonna give no, I ain't gonna give y'all no spoilers in case you ain't see it, but you should watch it. I like the show. I don't know if Tamar is being genuine or not with the decision that she made. I'm not sure. And Nivea just <laughs> I like Nivea. I like Nivea, but I didn't like Nivea on that show in the beginning. Once it started to continue to go on and on and on, I liked her. It's just I felt like she was doing way too much too soon. But her decision really surprised me. You know? It really did surprise me. I'm not going to lie. Evelyn, that didn't surprise me. I thought that Evelyn was going to do what she did. And I, I know that she was going to go the route that she went. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, if y'all have Peacock, you know... Go right ahead and watch Queen's Court. It's only 10 episodes. I finished it in like two or three days. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all. I gotta fold some clothes. Oh, and I'm gonna talk to y'all too. It was two things I wanted to make sure I wanted to talk to y'all about. One, one of my booze, girl. Hold on, let me shout her out real quick. Hey, girl. She commented today and asked me about Queen's wife, mom. Hey, girl. Mm. She wanted to know about... um. Boba, which boba I have tried. So I'll tell y'all about that when I'm about to fold my clothes. Because right now, I'm hungry. I don't feel like talking for real. Be back on the cam. Ooh. So y'all, I wanted to show y'all what I use for my underarms. And I'm kind of like mad I didn't record when I actually wax my underarms. But I got y'all next time. Girl, this is the wax kit that I got from uh, Target. It's a Sally Hansen wax extra strength all over the body wax kit. And girl, when I tell you my underarms is, 
Y'all, it took me one time to get my underarms waxed professionally. And I said, you know what? I ain't doing the shaving no more, honey. And then I said, you know what? I might can do this myself. Save myself $25, girl. Y'all already know I'm cheap. So, bam. Y'all, the pain level on a scale of 1 to 10, I say a 7 out of 10. I think it hurt more putting the wax on than it did pulling it off. But I only had to use two strips on each armpit. So, you put it in the microwave. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. I probably ain't got to do this again for a long time. But you got the wax strips. And then this is the finishing oil that you use at the end. They got these little wax sticks. And this is the wax. You put it in the microwave. Then you put it, you know, on your armpit with a little strip or whatever. And then you put the wax thing on and you snatch it off. So it's kind of old school, but <laughs> baby, it gets the job done. And that's all I care about. But baby, once I snatched that thing off, that thing was like butter, girl. Ah! Anyway, uh, I'm going to put some lashes on real quick. But I did want to come on here. And I ain't fold them clothes. Them clothes will be folded on the Sunday. Because baby, it's Saturday. I don't feel like folding clothes. But I did say that I was going to talk about the boba that I had for my boo. So hold on, y'all. Let me go all the way back, girl. Because So this is my first, first time ever trying. It was March the 5th this year. I like the honey green tea. Y'all know I tried that the other day. I like that one. So that's like a low calorie thing. But girl, if you want to get something that's like busting, busting, <laughs> let me tell you, honey. Oh, hip lemonade that was good almost remind you of a refresher from starbucks so that was busting then we tried kung fu tea with boba in there but girl you got to get it with the brown sugar boba oh and then you get light boba i don't get a whole lot of boba no i tried the thai milk tea fire get it with almond milk though and get it with brown sugar boba fire i had a tyro milk tea taro tyro that's fire they say that's like the sweetest one i had boba in there too brown sugar boba like boba I had the matcha milk that's what i had but i had it with almond milk that was good i didn't do no boba in that and i think that was it so we're gonna wear it's a little dramatic lash today this is dahlia that's the name of the lash but the brand is the cream shop they are very dramatic isn't this how uh this is how the uh <laughs> What's the girls called that be doing the makeup? This is how the beauty gurus be. I usually do Ardell Wispies. But they are very thin and like natural looking. I'm going for something more bold today. But these is like the thin ones. So y'all FYI, these are press on nails. So I might pop these off the rest for the uh for the day. Let me pop them off now, girl. I don't know if I want to do press ons for my birthday or not. Because I don't know, y'all. It seems like they last better. And like, of course, y'all already know it's like I don't like the look of the filling. Like when you need a filling, I don't like that look. And plus, they be trying to charge an arm and a leg nowadays for nails, y'all. I got the nails off. That was quick. But I'm laughing because I be finding stuff to do, y'all. One thing I'm going to always do. One thing about me. <laughs> one thing about me, girl, I'm taking my ass outside. I think I said this before in one of my other videos. Is like, I don't know how people be homebodies. Especially when you in a, a, a place or a city where it's always something to do. And that was part of the reason why I moved. And I'm not about to get into that for real. But I love going outside. It's like after a couple of hours laying around in the house, I am bored. Like what do y'all be doing? Keep watching shows after shows after shows. Bitch, that is boring. <laughs> I want to go outside. And not always going outside consists of spending money. Some people be like, oh, no. You know, when you go outside, you spend money. It depends on what you're trying to do. We already live in a routine kind of life anyway if you work a 9 to 5. You know what I mean? Like, your life is already on a routine, right? So why on the weekends, when it's time to go outside, you still want to be in the house? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Maybe I'm just obviously some people are extroverts some people are introverts but i'm just trying to understand the ones that's introverts girl what is so fun about being in the house please tell me what you be doing because i want to know comment let me know what y'all be doing in the house and i'm talking about when you always in the house i ain't saying like sometimes you in the house sometimes you go outside i'm talking about the people that you gotta damn near drag them to come outside you don't have to drag me do anything baby what you say you want to do what let's go you want to go where? Let's go. 
Like, I don't care if it's something small. You want to go do a bike ride? Come on, let's go. Like, something. You can't keep your hands on me from that body. It's always on my mind. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo. First of all, I know my neighbors be sick of me. But, baby, guess what? I pay rent in this bitch. Okay. And number two, y'all, I'm just so extra for no reason. It's just how I got it. California Breeze, take out the heat. Ah! Your girl got the lashes on. Mm. Did a little bit of something with my hair, you know, make it look cute. I don't know why my eyes look so dark. I don't know, maybe because I put, uh, what's this called underneath of my eyes? Eyeliner and I put a little mascara on underneath my lashes. So and I got this little dress from TJ Maxx. I got shorts underneath, so I gotta keep fixing the shorts because you know you gotta make sure you protect the bottoms. You know these platform uh sandals on I got from Forever 21 and then this little bag I got from I think HM a few years ago. So I will see y'all in the car. I don't know where we going. I'm thinking Joey's, but I don't want to speak too soon because I don't know yet. So let's go. I already knew it was going to be packed down here. But baby, one thing I'm not doing is valet. Because last time I did valet, it was almost like $20. I will be parking at downstairs free parking. <laughs> Absolutely. I will be walking with my little platform heels up somebody's escalator or elevator but baby we ain't paying for valet today honey mm -mm. we are going to joey uptown get a little uh i think they had a lettuce wraps that i had liked here i know they give you some free champagne at the door and then i'm gonna get another glass of champagne and uh, yeah so i'm not taking my camera i'm gonna be vlogging on my phone um so yeah i might go in the mall since i'm down here as well, but we shall see. Peace. Good morning, y'all. This is obviously another day on a vlog. I did not end the vlog yesterday because I was tired. And I left my camera in the car, unfortunately. I am about to close the vlog right here because I just got to the coffee shop. I gotta go in here and edit the vlog that you're currently watching because this is about to be a long vlog. I think, I think, I think I've been vlogging for like two or three days now. So, yeah. Anyway, let me give you a little quick uh, brief overview of yesterday. So yesterday, y'all, y'all know I went to Joey Uptown. And baby, when I say I had a good old time, I had a good old time. I did not expect to go there and meet people and all of that. I did not expect that. But hey, you know, I met a girl that I don't think I, I wouldn't mind hanging out again with. Met other women as well. Uh, met this guy, this older Italian guy that y'all probably seen a little, uh, little half of him in the video. He wanted to do all extra and pay for everybody and pop bottles and all this other stuff, girl. I was like, look, I gotta go. I did have some champagne, though. I'm not gonna lie. I had some champagne. But, girl, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time, but it was time to go. That was all I did. Came home, went to sleep. That was it for me. So, I'm gonna go edit. Probably grab some food from in here as well. And uh, yeah, I chat with y'all on the next vlog. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for what? Clicking on a video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.